All right. Hi, Chris Kelly. I'm here with Hans Herfeld from uh, Volvo. And Hans, you gave a presentation earlier today. I just caught the uh, the tail end of it, um, talking a little bit about what you guys have been doing with some of the technematics, uh, a little bit of the team center products at Volvo. Um, what's the, what's the brief history there? What, what have you guys really been up to? Uh, it's not a brief history. It's a long <laughs> history. We have been uh, doing ROBCAD, uh, which mm -hmm. is the predecessor of Process Simulate, for a long time. Okay. So for the last couple of years, since 2003, basically, we have been evaluating the Process Simulate uh, platform and mm -hmm. implementing it in a stepwise mode. So okay. uh, what I did today was to show uh, the, or to tell a little bit about our uh, the experience with Mail and how okay. we have progressed in this implementation. So you know, e even though Technomatics has been kind of part of the family f uh, since 2005, there's still a lot of customers we have out there that uh, that aren't really familiar with with the whole suite. So, so what is it that you guys do with uh, with RobCAD and now now Process Simulate? What, what, what part of your your business does that really uh, help you with? It's two parts. Uh, at Volvo ourselves, we are doing a pre pre study, so mm -hmm. we check the pro producibility of our products. We check that our products can be produced in uh, in our plants. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the second step is that uh, to actually build the factory. And then it's not the Volvo, then it's our suppliers, line builders, that are taking these tools and uh, check it again, basically, but more thoroughly. And also do offline programming of robots. Okay. So they produce the robot programs in the rocket and process it to okay. later be downloaded to the robots. Directly to the robots. Okay. Um, you know, th this whole idea of, of you know, taking um, computer models and just going from the model of the product to actually the model of the process seem, seems to kind of be catching on, right? You, you want, to, want to do more than just CAD model your product, you want to model your factory, you want to model, model the, the production environment. I mean, that's you know, one of the main reasons that, uh, that Siemens talked about why they, uh, they, they brought us uh, in, in to be part of the rest of Siemens. Um, what do you suggest for, for a company who is up to speed and, and, and really understands the, the product modeling side, they, they understand CAD, they, they know how to get benefit out of that, but really hasn't started down the, the, the process modeling side. Where, where's the, the biggest benefit for them? Where should, where should they start? That's a good question. Um, how, uh, I mean, if they do CAD today, they probably know uh, PDM as well, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I mean, it's basically the same thing, but Compared to CAD, it's a lot more objects. The process includes, I mean, you start with well point features, yeah. processes. It's more objects mm -hmm. than what you're typically used to doing PDM for, for products only. Mm -hmm. um, but the otherwise, it's the same thing. Basically, you're taking your product, you introduce your robots, and you yep. start building process around it. It's, uh, uh, I wouldn't say it's, uh, it's just increasing the content in the PDM system. In the model. Okay, great. I wouldn't say it's magic. Okay, <laughs> not magic. All right. Well, great. I appreciate it. Thanks, Hans. Have a good rest of the conference. Thanks for coming and presenting.